It's so true that nobody enjoys stock taking, but in Peach Software, hopefully, we're gonna make it a little bit easier for you. So uh, let me take you through the screen first, and then I'll show you how it's done. So stock take is done, it's a transaction. So we go to our task menu down the bottom left here, and then we go to the transaction tab, and then we go to stock take entry. Now in stock take entry, there's three tabs. The first tab is where you're gonna actually do your stock take, and before you do that, you'll pick what area. So you may have multiple warehouses, or you may have stock out in a van. So you pick that van or that warehouse, and decide that that's where I'm gonna do my stock take. So I'll do it for New South Wales head office in this case. So the second tab here is the stock take transfer. This is when you wanna transfer stock out of your system. So if you're using the Peach General Ledger, then you'll pick a GL code and you'll write the stock off against that GL code. If you're not using the General Ledger, you simply put the part number, the quantity, and uh, F10, and that writes the stock off out of the system. And on the third tab, you've got stock take revalue. So for old or obsolete products, you don't want to be paying tax on the full value of those products. So what you want to do is you want to write down the value. So you can put in the part numbers, it'll show you how much you've got in stock, put in the new cost, update, and that'll recost your stock for you. Uh, and that'll save you a lot, of, uh, a lot of tax dollars, hopefully. Anyway, going back to the stock take screen, let me show you how this works. From the main screen, uh, you can simply push display and this will display all the products in your system. So in part number order, uh, it's displaying everything that I've got in head office and the quantity. So if I wanted to do a stock take here, I could just over type the quantity, arrow down, again, again, again. It's that simple. So I'm going down there and I'm entering all my counted quantities. And then when I update, I go F10, it'll pick the user, update, and it asks you if you want to do a stock take preview. So this is an Excel spreadsheet which will tell you what you've actually stock taken in the system. Uh, and if you don't want to see that, just update and your stock take's done. That simple. Let me show you, give you some other hints to make it easier though. So here I've gone into reports because for a lot of people they're still working off stock tape worksheets. So this is where you print a list of parts, you send them out and you count, put a count in on the part and uh, then you bring it back and you enter it into the system. So what you can do here is you can print a stock tape worksheet report, you can filter it by the products that you're going to count. Now that can be done by group code, subgroup, combination, preferred supplier, the category, the code field, the location. Any of these filters will uh, compress down the number of items that you're going to count on this count sheet. Now what happens is if you set your count sheet exactly the same as what you're doing in your stock take. So if I pick the same filters here, then what it'll do is it'll list the part numbers, which will be exactly the same part numbers as in your stock take count sheet. So all you'll need to do is you'll have a look at um, the count quantity, which is going to be written here, and in Peach, you'll just go down the list and you'll change the quantity. So I just go, for example, two, two, three, whatever, go down as it is in the count sheet. So like I said, set the filters in the report, set the same filters in the stock take screen, and then you should be able to just roll straight down, not having to call out part numbers, and just enter the quantity, and then update the stock take. So that makes it much easier, much faster for you. Then there's another feature where you can import the stock take. So if you've done the stock take in another application, or if you've done it in an Excel spreadsheet, you can import that. So you just go to Options, Import CSV, and here you choose the file. So it'll be an Excel or a CSV file actually is what it should be. So I'll just pick the file there, open, and that brings the file into the screen here. So if it looks okay, all you need to do is click Import. Now, the part number, you can use the part number or the barcode here, and the quantity, that's all you need to have, and it'll recognize either um, the barcode or the part number, and you just import. So I'll just cancel that, and I'll just update this stock take, and done. So there you are, that's the way to import a stock take. So now, uh, the other way to do it, of course, is by having a PDA. You remember that we've just rewritten our PDA software now, so it works on Android devices, which have got much larger screens. Um, and with those devices, uh, you can book goods in, you can do a stock take, 
you can move products between bin locations in your warehouse uh, and you can even pick goods uh, to a customer order. Uh, one major change we've made now in that is that when you book goods in they go straight to goods in so they go in as a delivery docket goods in uh, and then that can be finalised by the finance people. Uh, but the other thing we've done is we've made it so it's multi-bin location compatible. So that means that when you're picking uh, an order from your warehouse, uh, it'll steer you towards multiple bin locations based on the availability in each of those bin locations. And then when you invoice, it'll actually invoice out of those locations. So previously you could only book into one location and book out of one location. So we've extended that now for multi-bin location. So hopefully that helps and if you have any doubts before you do anything, do a backup of course in the software. But if you have any doubts, call Peach Software. We're only too pleased to hear from you and we'd rather hear from you before you make a mistake than afterwards. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.